Are you struggling with your forehand and you want to get it to the next level? This video is guaranteed to help you. And if you watch this entire video, I'm going to give you a free gift at the end to help you take your forehand to even greater heights. My name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution. I'm eager and passionate to help you improve your forehand. And before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Hit that bell, give us a thumbs up, and let's get started. All right, what's the problem? you're getting too close to the ball. One of the most common problems in tennis. And so when players are swinging, they're swinging and they're too close to the ball. They're in like this and they get jammed. And they lose power and they lose control and they get tight. So here's what we have to focus on. We have to give you a formula, a step-by-step -step plan to help you improve your tennis game. This is the type of instruction that can help you get to the next level. You have to improve your technique. And the first thing I want you to do is I want you to work on your first move. So when the ball comes, when the ball comes, you're gonna make a first move and you're gonna create space like this. This is what you wanna focus on. It's almost like having a beach ball between your arms like this. This is what you wanna focus on right here. Get that space. And what's interesting is I was working with a VIP client and he actually has great space. So he's got that first step down. Most players don't. Most players, when they swing, I call them alligator arms or dinosaur or T-Rex arms. Their, their hands are like this, so they can't get the extension and they get too close to the ball. We gotta fix that. And we start by making a great first move. This arm is pulled across. It's parallel to the baseline. The elbow is up and away from the body. The hand is away. Now we don't want to be locked out like this. We don't want to be straight and locked out. We want to have the arm bent like this, nice and relaxed. We don't want the elbow in like this. This is what we see with a lot of forehands. Elbows in, racket goes back. That's a no-no, that's bad news. Now, do me a favor, type underneath in the comment section, answer this question for me. Do you make a poor first move, yes or no? If you're too close to the ball, type in yes, I'm too close to the ball. If, you're, if you get, have a great first move like the pros, type no. Okay, go ahead and do that right now. So that's the first step. The next step is when you swing, after you make this amazing first move, you need to focus on throwing your hand out away from you like this, as if you're skipping a rock across a lake. If you swing and you keep your hand close to you, you're just going to steer the ball and you're not going to have the control that you're looking for. You're going, not gonna have the easy power that you want. So when you get to this position, and after you take the racket back, you're gonna throw your hand out towards the ball. So it's going to feel like the arm is almost straight. Now it still may be bent, but we wanna avoid being too close when we swing like this. And so remember that VIP client that I was telling you about? He made a great first move. It looked like he's going to have great space, but then when he goes to swing, his elbow is tucked in like this. And this is one of the things that I see with a lot of club players that they really struggle with. So, as I mentioned, you wanna to get to that great first move and then you're gonna throw the hand out to the ball like this. You need to exaggerate throwing the hand out almost as if you're making a circle around your body. Look at my hand. I'm throwing my hand out away from me and this is going to feel weird for a lot of players because you're used to playing in here. You're used to playing it safe. You're used to being a little bit tight. You've got to get used to creating a bigger circle around your body, having your arm and your hand be loose and creating that effortless space away from you. All right, that's step number two. You ready for step number three? It's all about the finish, baby. We're going to focus on finishing. And when I talk about the finish, I'm not talking about swinging and going like this, which is what we see a lot of club players do out there. And remember, if you're too close at contact right here, if you're not throwing your hand out to the ball, if you're too close, guess what's gonna happen after? More likely gonna swing like this. We wanna avoid that. So if you're throwing your hand out like this, at the very end of the swing, that finish, you've gotta get that racket out like here, right? Like just like this. So watch what I do with my finish. I throw my hand out, and I finish, look at where my hand is. Now you'll see a lot of pros swing across their body. That's because they're generating incredible racket head speed and power on their shots. 
but in the beginning stages, instead of swinging across like this, I want you to focus on that high finish right here. Nice and high, look at where my hand is. And one great tip that can help you is if you catch the racket out in front like this, then you can bring the racket back. Okay, then you can bring the racket back. Shouldn't be hitting those balls in the net, should I? Here we go, we're gonna get this ball over the net. So when you swing, catch it out in front, and then you can bring it back. The biggest problem is swinging and not getting that extension. That's how you get jammed on the forehand. If you wanna fix your forehand, you're gonna work on that first move. You're gonna get this, these arms out like this. You're gonna work on throwing your hand out, and you're especially gonna get that finish right here. You're gonna finish with the hand out in front, and then you're gonna bring it back. Now, a lot of coaches think I'm crazy that I teach this, but guess what? You know where I learned this from? Robert Lansdorp, five number ones in the world, including Tracy Austin, Pete Sampras, and others, Maria Sharapova. He always had his players extend like this and catch the racket. I took a lesson from him when I was 28 years old and I couldn't believe he had me doing this. He had me catching the racket on every forehand for extension. And that's what I want you to focus on. It's a three-step formula. Your first move, throwing your hand out and getting that extension, that circular motion away from your body. And finally, that incredible high finish at the end. And then you can bring the racket over the shoulder if you want. We don't wanna break the hand here. That's your three-step formula. Go ahead and let me know what you think of this lesson. If it's gonna help your technique, leave a comment below. Let me know if you think it's gonna help your technique. We are passionate about helping you with online tennis instruction that's gonna get you to the next level. And before you go today, I wanna to make sure that you get this free gift. You see, there are three mistakes on the forehand that most players are making. And all you have to do is click somewhere in this video or underneath in the description. We're gonna help you transform your forehand. That's what we're passionate about doing here at Tennis Evolution. Go ahead and click the link somewhere in this video or underneath in the description. I had a blast making this video for, for you today and we'll see you at the next one.